Alrighty, we are live. Hello everybody, how are we doing today? Let me check the... Oh, category is blank, so let's fix that. Alright, hopefully it shows the game I'm playing now. There we go, Final Fantasy VIII. I don't know why, I guess it's with this game in particular, it doesn't show up on the category list that, it, that I'm playing anything. Uh, that's really... Well, I know how to fix it, so... Anyways, let us continue. We are in Timber, the Forest Owl's base. And I am hurt, so let's fix that. So is Zell. uses magic so I'm not worried about it. Oh, sleep is really good with magic, but... Wait, is Quizzical and Shiva currently not on anybody? Have y'all been de-junctioned? Y'all have? Huh. I'll have to remember to equip y'all when I get the chance. Alright, let's go up here. We're supposed to go wake up the princess or whatever. Hey, you're, you know, from the party? So, does that mean you're a seed? You know, I like how I just like walked into her room and she just woke up like, Oh hey, you're you're the man from Seed! Like, isn't it at least the least bit creepy that I just walks right into the room with you asleep? I'm Squall, the squad leader. There's two others with me. Woo! Seed is here! Take it easy. It's just that I'm so happy. Oh, also I would like to point out that we have just reached 200 views. Thank you everybody for that. Let's try to make it to 300. Woo! Feels good. I've been sending requests to Garden forever, but nothing. I'm so glad I spoke to Sid directly. Oh, so you were looking for the headmaster at the party. You know Cypher? Yeah. Well, he's the one who introduced me to Sid. Sid is such a nice man. I really didn't think Sid would come out to help a measly little group like us. But after explaining our situation to him, Sid gave the go-ahead right away. Now that you guys are here, we'll be able to carry out all kinds of plans. Yes? I'm going back to the others. Okay, let's go. Um, Squall, is he here? He? Cypher. No, he's not a seed. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh yeah, my name is... Rhinoa. Very pleased to meet you, Squall. Seed members don't... Seed members dance quite well, don't they? Approach your target inconspicuously at a dance party. <laughs> there may be missions requiring this sort of subterfuge. It's expected of Seed to learn various skills. Oh, so it's work related. That's too bad. It's Angelo! Here, let me introduce you. This is my partner, Angelo. Angelo is really smart. Here, let me tell you. Rhinoa's li Limit Break uses Angelo. The tricks Angelo can learn are listed on the status screen. The fourth status screen lists all the tricks that Angelo can learn. The gauge on the right indicates how much has been learned. When the gauge is full, the trick has been learned. If the gauge is not full, the trick has yet to be learned. To learn a new trick, Simply click it, right? Move the cursor to the trick name and press X. Now, as Rhinoa walks around, the gauge will fill up and Angela will learn the trick. So you just gotta walk around with her. 
If you select a trick that has already been learned, there will be a message before you close the screen. Won't learn anything, okay? If there is still a trick to learn, be sure to select it. You can learn new tricks by reading a magazine called Pet Pals. I got one of those. After reading Pet Pals, access the screen to change the settings. That's all for Rhino's Limit Breaks. Smart, huh? I have some important work to do now. Be good, Angelo. Okay, I'll meet you there. Oh, He's whining. You play cards? No? Okay. She's now in our party, so let's go to... Was it status? Yeah. We're gonna teach... Learn Angela Strike. This damages one enemy, and this damages all enemies. I think it's totally random which one she does. I can't remember exactly. But basically, it's a limit, which means she has to be hurt to be able to use it. Okay, so let's go see the others. Y'all say anything different now that I woke her up? We've reached our destination. That's why we came to a sudden stop. Of course, there's nothing running with this train. I'm the one who's taking care of it. You're having a strategy meeting, right? Better get going. By the way, you're really lucky to come away without a scratch. <laughs> He's asleep. I got money! I got paid. This is Zell. And Selfie. Hi, everyone. This way. Just stand anywhere you want. This is a full-scale operation. Our resistance, the Forest Owls, will be forever known in the pages of Timber's Independence. Exciting, huh? It all started when we got a hold of top secret info from Galbadia. I got the info, sir. There's a VIP from Galbadia coming to Timber. Super VIP! The guy's name is Vincer Dealing, our arch enemy and the president of Galbadia. Vincer Dealing is a scoundrel. He's a dictator, not a president. Not even popular in Galbadia, sir. President Dealing has taken a private chain from the Galbadian capital. Our plan is to... Blow it to smithereens with a rocket launcher? Uh, not quite. So get to the point, just tell us what to do. Shall we begin? First, let, I'll go over the model. The yellow train on the top right is our base. We're riding it right now. Right next to it is the dummy car. We made it... We made it to look just like the president's car. Their train has three cars. First, there's the locomotive, followed by the first escort. The red car is the president's car. Dealing should be inside. The last car is the second escort. Once we get on this one, we begin the operation. Our ultimate goal is to seize the president in his car using our base. That means we'll have to switch our dummy car with the president's car. We'll use the two switch points leading up to Timber to carry out this operation. Okay, now I'm going to explain the procedures in seven steps. Sneak on board the second escort. We'll get on the roof of the second escort by jumping from our dummy car. Proceed cautiously across the roof of the second escort. The second escort car is the only one that is equipped with sensors, sir. A high-tech officer is on board. I'll talk about the sensors later. Proceed across the roof of the president's car. We can move across the roof of the president's car without worrying too much. Dealing hates the company of his guards and being surrounded by sensors and keeps them away from his car. Uncouple the first escort car. We'll have to complete the uncoupling before the first switch point. If we don't, boom, game over, right? Yeah, so we'll have to move fast. I'll explain the uncoupling process later. Have the dummy car and our base move in after uncoupling. After the car is coupled, we'll have the dummy car and our base move in. At this point, our train and their train will be linked and be moving together. Uh, 
uncouple the second escort card. This is the last uncoupling. The process will be similar to the first one. Escape with the President's car and our base. If all goes well, we should be able to escape with the President's car. After that, we'll return to our base and prepare to confront dealing. We have exactly five minutes to complete the seven procedures. Oh man, that's a lot to take in. <laughs> All right. If we fail, our train will collide with theirs at the switch point and it'll be all over. Don't forget that. Five minutes? You sure that's enough? According to the simulation we ran, it should only take three minutes to complete the operation. Piece of cake proceeds, right? Of course. Too easy. Okay, now let's talk about how to avoid the sensors on the second escort. Go ahead, Watts. The guards have, found, have a sound sensor and a temperature sensor, sir. Any sensor will trigger the sound sensor, so move across very quietly, sir. The blue guard is carrying this sensor. The temperature sensor will go off if you remain stationary, sir. The guard in red is carrying this one. When a guard opens the blind, that means he's checking the sensor, so be careful. The range on these sensors is equal to the length of one window, so keep an eye on the window below. So exactly how do you avoid them? Stop if there is a blue guard below you, run if there is a red guard below you. Um, basically run or start depending on which guard is below you. So red doesn't mean stop, red means run. I gotta remember that. That's about it for the sensors. Next let's talk about how to uncouple the escort cars. Question! How can you uncouple the cars from a moving train? Um, we can't uncouple the cars directly. Instead we'll have to tamper with the control system that manages the coupling. If we temporarily disable the circuit for the connection, the car will uncouple automatically. To disable it, we have to enter several codes. And we have the codes, Rhinoa has them. I'll be in charge of relaying the codes to Squall. Squall, you'll slide down on the side of the train using a cable to enter the codes into the system. Now I need you to listen carefully. Each code is made up of numbers between 1 through 4 and has 4 digits. 2, 3, 4, 1 is an example. But the keypad won't have numbers, instead it'll have 4 buttons. For instance, if I relayed the code 3124, you'll push square, circle, X, triangle in that order. Yeesh. I'm gonna have to memorize the button layout. You'll have to be quick and precise. You'll have about five seconds to enter each code. Otherwise, the code will change and the past entries will become invalid. Dude. So like we said, we have to enter all the codes to disable the connections. After we uncouple the cars, we'll wait for the others to operate the rail switch. Remember, we only have five minutes to do everything, so make sure that you're prepared. Now let's try practicing entering the code. Enter three codes and you'll be finished. If you want to quit, hold down L1. Oh, wait. You got it? It's the real, in the real thing there's a strict time limit leading up to the switch point, don't forget that. Um, that's all. By the way, the model's nice and the president's car looks kinda shabby. Why is that? Oh yeah, Rhinoa made it, that's why. We bought everything else at the gift store. Oh, I thought some kid made it. The paint job sucks too. <laughs> yeah, it kinda does. Oh shut up, I made it look like that on purpose. It represents my hatred towards dating. Hatred, huh? Yeah, right. It's one of the ugliest things that I've ever seen in my life. You must really hate them. Are you guys finished? Enough with the model. Can we get on with it now? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. Let's decide on the party. Gathering information is my specialty, sir. Oh, my stomach. Of course, it's gonna be between us four. We're moving again. I'll go take a look. I guess it's us three. Never mind. Talk to Watts when you're ready. The sooner the better. Anarchist Monthly. That's funny. First issue. Galbadi's director, President Vinster Dealing Special. How does he stay in power? We reveal his darkest secrets. Alright. 
Are you what? Oh, you're zone. I need to do this before I forget everything. Have you seen the dummy of the president, sir? If you haven't, please take a look. See, it's a piece. It's like a piece of art. I know the kidnapping plan must be tough, but best of luck to you. Oh yeah, I want to see who you're talking about. Oh, him? I'm in a bad mood right now. If there is nothing in particular, I order you to leave immediately. That dummy looks real, huh? No one will ever realize that it's a fake. I don't want to save because I'm going to forget the instructions if I fail. So let's, let's do this. Yeah. Squaw, over here. We'll catch up with the second escort soon. Let's get ready. We should time our jumps well after we catch up to them to save some time. From now on, we have exactly five minutes to complete the operation. Let's try to use every second. Over here, Squall! Uh, red means go. We'll proceed with the first uncoupling. Let's go. Sir, everything is in order, sir. You again? That's 27 times now. How many more times do you plan to disturb me with that meaningless report? Sir, I'm sorry, sir, but it is my duty, sir. It's hard to believe that anyone will put up with this nonsense. I guess it's none of my business. Dismissed. Sir, yes, sir. Here goes next month's paycheck. How am I going to propose to her now? I'm going to have to put it off again. This is the first escort. We're going to uncouple this first. Like Watt said, there should be two guards in this car. Selfie and Zell, you guys keep an eye on the guards. Let me know early if you see him coming. Alright, I'll watch for the blue guard. I'll take red. The red guard is closer. Squaw, you might want to keep an eye on him too. Hold down L1 to look to your left and release it to go back. Okay, are you ready to enter the codes? Alright, let's do this. You have to enter three codes to disable the circuit for this uncoupling. Okay, Squaw, get the cable ready. The system to enter the code is down there. You can't miss it. Press down to go down. You can come back up. To come back up, press up. You won't be able to come up when you're entering the code, so be careful. Let's do it. Yeah, four minutes. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. they just couple on their own? I don't have to, like, couple them or anything? Looks like it. Well, what should I do? I know he's not gonna like it, but it's my job. S sir, everything's in order, sir. Huh. He's not angry. <laughs> That's strange. Oh, he's reading the paper. I wonder where he got it. What? Is there a problem? I'm in a bad mood right now. If there is nothing in particular, I order you to leave immediately. Sir, aye aye, sir. 
You, don't just stand there. Get back to your station. Y yes, sir. There goes another paycheck. That's two in one day. God, your job must suck. What the heck? Is this the right train? The interior looks different. Looks shabbier. Maybe not. What am I gonna do? No ring and now no more candlelight dinner? I'm never gonna be able to get married. I should probably get a new job. This is the second escort. After this, we're home free. I think there are two guards on this car, too. Zell and Selfie are up ahead, working on uncoupling our train from theirs. So you're on your own this time. Watch your right side to do this hold R1. Yes. Codes to enter. All right, let's go down. Where's the blue? Oh, there he is. Okay. I think we did it! That wasn't so tough. I thought it was going to be tougher than that. Finally, we waited so long for this encounter with Binzer. Was that perfect, sir? Amazing, sir. You're the best. Alright, I get paid more now. Well then. Leave the intelligence up to me. Ah. He's always sick. You three, tell me when you're ready to go. As soon as you're ready, let's I'll begin serious negotiations with the president. Serious negotiations? Better make sure my GF's equipped. Alright, so these two were de junction. Uh you are gonna have quizzical. Life. Thunder. Zell, you're going to have Shiva. Blizzard. Fight for Spirit. Wow. have you be the item user. Oh, and we get more spirit. Damn, 21? That's pretty good. GF draw item. Magic draw item. And magic draw GF. Alright.
I'm not gonna have Rhinoa in the party, am I? I hope not. Alright, let's do this. Not yet. Let me talk to you. Now that I actually did that, I'm gonna go save. I can't save. Alright then. Hey, don't you want to know how Rhino and Cypher know each other? I just joined the forest now, so I don't really know everything yet. No one would tell me. Why is that? The mystery is killing me. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me. Did you see the clipping on the board in the conference room? Anarchist Monthly used to write special reports about the president. I saw the guy who wrote for that magazine being taken away to prison. Being a prison for telling the truth, that's downright wrong. The Forest Owls are- let's hear him out. Watson Zones' his fathers founded the Forest Owls. Okay then. That's good to know. Alright, Rhinoa, I can't save, so I guess we're gonna do this. So I better do this really well since I can't save. President Dealing, as long as you don't resist, you won't get hurt. And if I do resist, what would you do, young lady? What's wrong? Boo-hoo-hoo, too bad. I'm not the president. I'm what they call a body double. All these rumors about the many resistance groups in Timber. You pass along a little false information and they fall for it. How pathetic. Seems like there are only amateurs around here. Um, uh, chers? Ah, my butt hurts from all this city, young lady. Ah, so what did you have in store for me had I resisted? Why don't you tell me? Quite amusing, though, for being such amateurs. How dare you insult the president? Uh-oh, we gotta fight. Aw, oh, he's happy to see us. You fell for it. Oh, he only has cure? Well, that's always good to get. Oh, I don't have Tear Junction on anything. Alright. Ah, this guy bit me! That's sick! He's dead. Or not. It's a re-dead! Alright, two magic I'm unfamiliar with. We got the Zerg, which is, eh, okay. Probably good for stream. Which I'm definitely going to want Squall to get. He's actually got some good magics on him. Oh, I'm, well, I'm blind, but can I still draw? Berserk. I'll let Zell grab some Berserk so that way I can uh, equip him to Squall when I get the chance. Oh, 
Oh, that's also slow. No, this seems really good. It gets rid of everything so far. Okay, so I get this guy's gimmick. He just has a really high uh, defense. So he tries to berserk people. Because he has terrible magic defense. Unless he's just weak, and weak to fire. I mean, he's a zombie, so... Yeah. Again, I should say. Zombie powder. Vitality junction, good. And I forgot what the ST med was for. Man, I can't believe the president was a fake. I can't believe we fell for it. Info, sir, new info. It's big news, I found out the real president, I found out the real reason why the president's here, sir. The presidents go into the TV station. Security's super tight. The TV station? Why in Timber? They can broadcast just as easily from Galbadia. Do you think the Dolette communication tower has anything to do with this? What's that? Oh, from our first mission. Dolette has a communication tower that can transmit and receive radio waves. It had been abandoned for a long time, but the Galbadian army got it up and running yesterday. Oh, I get it. The only TV station that can handle broadcasts over the air is in Timber. Other stations use HD cable, which only supports online broadcasting. HD cable in 1999. So what's that supposed to mean? 
They're planning on using radio waves. This way they can transmit images to regions without cable. Why is he crawling? Oh, okay then. I know that. What I want to know is what is the president going to broadcast? <laughs> Poor guy. Why use radio waves? There must be something they want to say to the whole world. What can it be? Everybody, love and peace. If I remember correctly, radio waves haven't been used in 17 years. It's been that long? Wouldn't it be wonderful if the first broadcast could be the Declaration of Timber's Independence? Hey, that might be possible. Let's come up with a plan then. Can you guys give us a minute? You were the one that used the status recovery from an item. Um... This one will be useful now. I want that one. Who else was it that leveled up? It wasn't you, it was you, Quizzical. So that means Zell? Selfie now has vitality. Wow. Uh, you can card an enemy with this guy. So we're gonna go ahead and get that because some of those um, items that we can refine can be refined using cards if I'm not mistaken. Um, speaking of... Wait, Quis Quistus can be with us? Oh, that's a junction. Never mind. Zell, I didn't remove everything, did I? No, alright. Ability. So one tent will give us 10 Kiragas. That's really good. Um, what about status recovery? We can get one remedy from sleep powders. And three echo screens from the silence powder and holy waters. So that basically that's what the refined magic is on this game. You can go here and you can like refine some of these uh, alchemy items into either items or magic. I thought you could use cards for that. Oh, the magical lamp, that's right. Um, so, anyways, magical lamp, I remember. He is a GF known as Diablos. He is a really, really tough cookie to, to fight. But you get to keep him if you beat him. Wait, can I just straight up silence Squall by using this? You should save your game before you use it. Well, I couldn't save it before. Alright, um... Alright, so Quizzicult's gonna learn card. That's gonna be really useful. Uh, ice, magic, refine. Fire, magic, refine. And I got thunder earlier, so... Alright, so far so good. I like, I like where this is going. Can't we go home now? What about our contract? Shouldn't we check it, Squall? They call that a strategy meeting? Whisper, whisper, whisper. Yeah, but you whisper, you whisper to them saying whisper, whisper, whisper. Oh, good timing. We've come up with a plan. All he said was whisper, whisper, whisper. How'd you come up with a plan? Before we get into that, can I see your contract with our garden? Oh, sure. swipe it out of her hands. What's it say? Balam Garden, hereafter referred to as Party A, acknowledges the Forest Owls, hereafter referred to as Party B, as the hiring party. Seed, hereafter referred to as Party C, shall be dispatched upon signing of this contract. Party C shall operate under the supervision. The hell? 
I don't get it. Oh yeah, that one's pretty confusing. When I told him I didn't understand, he gave me a different one. <laughs> Technical jargon. Sid is such a nice man. What's it say this time? To the forest owls, this seed deployment contract will last until timber achieves until timber achieves independence. Please make good use of each seed member. I wish you the best with your objective. Please, please understand that this contract is an exception, and no replacement of any seed members can be made. Balam Garden Head Master Sid Kramer. Until timber's independence. That is so vague. Hey, you're paid professionals, no complaining. Okay, let's decide on the parties. Once again, they're gonna, yep, gathering information. And his stomach's gonna go crazy. So, of the four of us, the ones who will be heading to this TV station will be... I want Rhinoa with... well, I guess I have no choice. And... Selfie. She's at a lower level. And that means, Zell, give up your goods. Actually, no, we can just do Junction. Exchange, right? So that means she has the Junctions? Yes, okay, cool. Also, her strength is 25, mine's 38. How good is Berserk? Oh, never mind, I thought Berserk would be better with uh, the Attack Junction, or Strength Junction. I guess not. Well, that, but I, that and I have a hundred thunders on it, so... Never mind. I guess Berserk is better used elsewhere. Alright. Oh, you. Of course, Protect would be the best one, but I don't have a lot of Protects. Asuna. Alright. Interesting. We're gonna sort, and for magic... Alright. You know, Squall, since I'm not using your magic as much, I'm mostly just using yours to junction. Let's give all your fires to... Selfie? Blizzards to... She's Junction, so we're going to give that to Rhinoa. Oh. You need more cures. You have them Junction to your Vitality, so... And you straight up just don't have any scans. No, Berserk. Eh, I'm gonna hang on to Berserk. I can still think of something good for this one. Oh, wait, now you have more Protects. Let me, um... Let me see something. Selfie? Now that you have more Protects... Ah, uh, it's still not better. Alright. Cool. Call me anytime. You just eat your hot dogs. Now can I go save? There we go, finally. The TV station, sir. It's quite close if you take the local train, but the local and, and transcontinental trains have stopped running. Nothing to worry about. There must be someone in town who knows. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. A guy dressed as a cadet gathering information. He was asking about the president's stay. I found it strange that a cadet would keep asking about the president. 
He was very polite and kept addressing me as sir. <laughs> I think I know who you're talking about. He was taking care of three suspicious looking characters from Balam. I'll go question every teenager in the area. No, we can't just go up to anybody and... Ahem, <laughs> these are citizens. We can't inflict any... How dare they try to kidnap the president? Not only is it disrespectful to the president, but also to us Galbadian soldiers as well. I'll be sure to find them and throw their sad behinds in jail. Please, hear me out to the very end. We're back in timber. Say, I remember now, sir. I think the TV station is located behind a building called Timber Maniacs. Please head in that direction. I hope you find it. What? Come on, the Galbadian soldiers are coming. Lots of guards patrolling the city now. Please be careful. Seems like the hotel's not available either. Should you need to recover, use the Owl's Tear. Heard it works wonders. I believe you can find it at the old man's house. I guess you won't be needing it anyway. You're all seeds. You'll be fine, right? Hey! Don't leave me behind! Pet shop. Now I can go in. Those are expensive. Um. Oh, here we go. Makes a GF forget an ability. That could be useful if. Because you can only learn a certain amount of abilities for your GF, but if you want to teach him something different, then you can make him forget something and teach him something else. This is really good if you have, like, multiple GFs that have, like, the Vitality Junction. You only need one per character to have the Vitality Junction equipped. You don't need to have three of them with it. So you can just, like, forget it for the other two and teach them something else. These are important. These teach, um, Angelo her new abilities. Research shows a relationship between the dog, the moon and your dog. Do you know how your dog can use the power of the moon to help you? It's Invincible Moon. The moon's mysterious power can make all allies invincible. Do a lot of walking with your dog to help him learn this trick. Man, what I would love to walk my dog and just suddenly have her be like, Hey, I can make you invincible now. Have you ever been KO'd by a monster? Ever, even reviving doesn't help because you get KO'd right back. To answer your desperate call for help, use Angelo Reverse. Your dog finds Phoenix Downs to revive KO'd party members in battle. So then we go to status for Rhinoa. And boom, she can learn all of these now. We're going to stick with Angelo Strike for now. She doesn't have any. Zell? Cool. Alright, um, you got your dog now. Look at him, he's just so cute! My parents got me Georgie at this pet shop. Hey Georgie. Hiya Georgie. Welcome, how's Timber been treating ya? Oh, hey. Hmm? Nah, I ain't no zone, but I'm mighty flattered that you think so. Do you play cards? You seem to know rules unfamiliar to this here region, so say we play a game within Balam's rules and ours? So, you wanna play cards? Let's do it. I don't know what kind of cards you have, though. I actually don't have a lot of cards as is. 
I can give up a red bat. I got this one. I won! Oh man, I forgot what the colors mean. I think white means I have it. I think yellow means I used to have it, and blue means I've never had it. So, let's pick this one up. Yeah, I used to have a Gesper and I used to have this at one point and I don't have them anymore. And now I got this one. I won my first card game! Looks like the trains have stopped running. Usually the local trains would be running here. A lot of hustle and bustle. Oh, there's bad guys here. Blizzard, of course. I never seem to have enough of these. Trip gave me a phoenix down. I'll take that. Oh, weapon shop. Achoo! Oh, you got the Rona. I'm allergic to cats. My daughter loves them. What am I to do? Suck it up? Nah, I don't know. Don't, don't, don't ever get an animal if you're allergic to them. Your family are, is just gonna have to understand. Also, I don't have a weapon magazine. I don't know if I'm supposed to get one by this point. Oh, I meant to talk to her. It's so cute! Oh, there's a cat. I see the cat. Some really mean-looking guy was looking for you, but are you... Good or bad? We're bad people. I'm sorry. No, we're good. Good! So I guess you like cats too, right? Yippee! Oh, man. So... You're telling me your mother's a bad person because you don't like cats? Aww. Oh, it ran off. Oh, there's a safe point here. Excuse me. This model looks really good. Quite some craftsmanship. Don't you think? better than Rhinoas. That's so mean! I worked really hard on mine. Just kidding. When someone says they're kidding, it's usually half true. Squall? 
Oh, um, it's just a saying, you know. I'm sorry. <laughs> My father made it. It's strange to be praised for it. Thanks. Oh, Rhinoa, I'm sorry. You can't stay here tonight. What? Can't say this out loud, but there's a bunch of red, uh, there's a bunch of, um, roughnecks from Galbadia staying here right now. I understand. Thanks, Miss DeMarco. Call me Francesca. I'm behind you all the way. Good luck. Wait, can I talk to the other one? Can I talk to the other one? I guess not. Like I told you earlier, you can't stay here. I'm so sorry. Rhinoa, we're really counting on you to kick some Galbadian butt. Welcome. Reservations are taken at the counter. Gaby gets mad if you go in without paying, but I can't! You wouldn't let me! Better keep your eyes peeled. If you let one resistance member in here, your dear kids are, well, dead meat. <laughs> wow, that, that... Man, threatening someone's kid on the job? There's got to be some uh, laws prohibiting that. We have to get to the TV station fast. I can't bear to watch them suffer like this. Hey, I want to fight you. So I heard everyone here supports the resistance. You guys are such fools. Just imagine how much this place would thrive if you were loyal to us. This place is going to be stuck in the backwoods forever. And you? Are you happy with your life? Blindly following orders every day, doing things you probably don't believe in? So what if we're underdeveloped? We're not looking to thrive. All we want is to be able to stand on our own feet, to be independent and live according to what we believe. You guys will probably never understand having thrown away your pride and dignity. We're not the fools you are. You're both dead. No. We're gonna fight. She doesn't have thunder. I should draw some for her. She learned ice refined and Ifrit learned fire refined. Sweet. Thank you for your help. I got a little carried away. We appreciate your help, but we can't let you through here. I'm sorry. Be careful, the Godbadian soldiers are all over the place. Things will cool down once De Ling finishes his business here. Again, I'm sorry, but we can't make any exceptions. Even if it is a bluff, I could never risk my daughter's life. I'm really sorry. Alright, so... Shiba? Running of Vitality. Yeah, summon magic. I do use you a lot. So we go to ability. Now we can make fire and ice magic. So you can get five blizzards for each. Or 20 waters, dude. I might just fight some of those fishies just so I can refine waters and not have to worry about drawing them. As for fire, I can only make them out of these. Dun, 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 dun. 
So wait, now can I get across? Because I killed those guys? Oh no, still. Hmm. Y'all two, stay back. Take the kitty. You don't have any thunder, you need to get some. leveled up. Alright, where do I go then? Hi. Uh, hi, Renault. The weather sure is nice today. Beautiful day, isn't it? Can't I say anything interesting? I'm such a loser. Huh. Maybe there's a store that I'm missing over here. Like over here, maybe? Okay, so we can't go this way. And we can't go through the, the hotel. I don't have any weapon magazines, so I guess we go this way. Do we go this way? Alright. To behind Timber Maniacs. Okay, here's the store. Looking for Timber Maniacs? It's right here. Anything else? Where's the TV station? Yeah, that's in this town. You want to know more about it? Maybe the lady next door would know. You don't know where your own TV station is? Man, imagine living in a, in a city and you don't know where your own TV station is. What? You're walking to the TV station? We have no choice. The trains aren't running. Let's see. There used to be a way through the back alley of this house. The pub was built around the time they stopped broadcasting. We haven't used the back alley too much since then. Why don't you look through the second floor window? You should be able to see the back alley. Ah, so we have to go to the second floor. They fight a lot, but my parents totally get along. I can't wait to meet a great guy I can scream at and exchange blows with. <laughs> oh, maybe she likes screaming and punching. You don't know the half of it, Selfie. We'll go up there in a bit. Let's see what's over here. You guys watch yourselves. Some seedy looking guys were heading towards the pub. The pub is downstairs. I think I smell blood. I hope it's just my imagination. Are we on a date, you ask? Does it look like we are? We're on patrol to keep peace in the town. Aw, you're by yourself. You think you can take us on? How cute. What's it called? Levels up, but like every little possibility. Oh, wait, what? Mountain River? Secret info number one. You should go to the Afora pub for a drink. I guess Afora means Aurora. Drink until you see an Aurora. Alright. Let's check out Timber Maniacs real quick. There's a lot of old magazines. Hey, these are the battle series. I've read all of them. Hello. What can I do for you, honey? We want to take a look around. 
we just want to look around. Oh, okay, go right on ahead. Cute boys like you are always welcome. Feel free to look around. Uh, thank you. I received girl next door. Oh. Pleasant. Awesome. I can't use it. Hold on. Can't use it with any of the stuff that I have. I wonder if it's a quest item. Oh, it's over here. I received a naughty mag, guys. What was it doing in a Timber Maniac store? Oh, hello. Uh, we'll give it to Rhinoa. That's pretty awesome. And eventually when you start getting like Blizzagas, Pyragas, and Thundagas, you're going to want to get rid of like your Thunders and Blizzards because you can only hold so much magic. And the Blizzagas and stuff, they're just all around better for you to have. There's a magazine on the ground to the right, I see it. What? Did you say I look like an artist? As a matter of fact, I am. I didn't say anything though. Oh man, why do battle series books sell so well? We're living in a terrible age. Oh, you're looking around. Is there anything you want to know? Yes, about Timber Maniacs. Okay, well as you know, the name of the company is Timber Maniacs. We are a publisher that was established 20 years ago. We used to publish a magazine called Tin Manny, short for Timber Maniacs. It was a compilation of freelance writing, letters, reports, etc. The majority of the fans wanted to become journalists. I joined the company because I wanted to become an editor for Tim Manny. But times have changed. Now the only things that sell are books like the Battle Series. It's so sad. I've lost my will to work here. He's gonna go on forever. This is so typical. Adults reminiscing and talking on and on about the things they couldn't do or didn't do. I hate it. Hey guys, wait, I, I wanted to go pick up the magazine. A word of advice, you're still young, don't let your life pass you by. Hold on just a minute. Wait. Found an old issue of Timber Maniacs, you finished reading it. talk to this guy about the other things. Maybe he'll give me some if I listen to them all. Talk about the dream with Laguna? Okay. Recently I had a strange dream that I became a Galvadian soldier named Laguna. Actually it was too realistic to be just a dream. My friends had a similar experience too. Yeah, dreams are really strange. This morning I dreamt that. Why did I bring this up? <laughs> Now he won't shut up about his dreams. This morning's dreams, yesterday's dreams, childhood dreams. Big mistake. <laughs> hey guys! A word of advice, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, one more thing. About Timber's situation. I don't care about what's happening in Timber today. You know, in my childhood, it wasn't like this. Back then, we were in the middle of a war against the sorceress, so I kept writing letters to Timber Maniacs stressing how meaningless this war was. I was really happy even though there was a war going on. It gave me hope about my future. This is getting so boring. It was different back then. Those were the good old times. It was great to be young. Look at the young people these days. They're all so lazy. I don't know what they're thinking. Just another stupid story by a boring adult. This guy needs to grow up. <laughs> Did 
the Blizzaga um, replenish itself. All right, let's get out of here. So I read the Timber Maniacs. Does that add to my inventory or? Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Secret info number two. Laser beams are everywhere outside the TV station. I lose sleep when I think of what those beams could do to me. Timber was named for its rich vegetation. Used to be that we were surrounded by this beautiful forest. I wish the train would come. This bridge splits apart when the train comes. You gotta make it across just as it splits. Once the train comes, we're gonna cross on three, okay? Every time though, my heart jumps and my leg begins to shake. I've never won. Makes me so mad. Young lad, do you like beverages? No, I don't drink anything. Yeah, kind of. Ah, good to hear. Drinks Drink all you want from the faucet. Ah, you don't have to hold back. It's just water. I mean, okay. Life is so strange. <laughs> Life is strange. Another product by Square. It's not like anyone teaches you, but you end up falling in love. This house is much too small for a family of five. Where are the other two? Mom's working at the pub. Grandma's at the gift shop. They don't seem to mind. And Grandpa's so stubborn, he refuses to move to a bigger house. Say, young lad, what on earth are you doing? Oh, okay. It's not like anyone teaches you, but why do people end up hurting each other? I really want to know. feel revitalized. How is it good? Cool, it actually healed me. Hello, how are you? There are four different trains running through this town. It gets kind of packed at times. Want to tell me, want me to tell you where the trains are? Please. The one leaving from there is for Dolette. You can catch one for the desert in front of the pub. And the one near the pet shop goes to Balam. And the one in front of Timber Maniacs goes to d -Lang City. Those are the four trains out of timber. You gotta walk around to change trains though. Yeah, it's on this side. Ah, the kids are bad guys, I knew it. like three steps. Oh, there's three of them. All right, here we go. The 
train bound for Dolette. Stopping at East Academy is not in service. Okay. Is that what this was for? This whole thing? Alright, I checked everywhere. Let's go to uh, that second floor of that one house. Oh, no way. We haven't gone down here yet. That was too easy, man. <laughs> for a country bumpkin, he sure had some good stuff. Yo, better ease off a little. Please, Timber Hicks hate us enough as it is. Let's get him! Go get him! He actually survived that. I want Selfie to get some more XP. I received a Bowell Bull card. What's a Bull? Oh, it's that thing. Bit, but I gotta take a quick break, so get yourself some water and stretch for a bit, and I will be right back.
Alrighty, I am back, and this is a reminder to always hydrate yourself. <laughs> Ran out of water earlier. Alright, let's continue. Let's go to the pub. I say hydrate as I'm going to the pub. I've had enough of the city. I came from Dolette to have me a good time, and now trains are no longer running. Can't even stay in a hotel because of that stupid official. Harassed by Galbadian soldiers. Had my precious card stolen. This hasn't been my day. Oh, uh, I got, I got your card. Those jerks. They think they can use brute force to get anything they want. Hell, this town's a good example. Yeah. Everything's jacked up because the resistance tried to kidnap the president. Thanks to them, the trains have stopped. Those Galbadians... There's Galbadian soldiers all over the place. All because of them. Don't they understand I'm the one suffering from their reckless actions? Stupid boneheaded good for nothing resistance, you can just kiss my Hey! You don't understand anything. The resistance is fighting for Timber's future. They're all doing the best they can. It's the Galbadian soldiers and their leader who are at fault. Well, I mean I have your card still. How to distinguish the drinks? Well, to make it short, labels are red, green, or yellow. They're either sweet or bitter. Hmm, you want to know more? Well, let's see. Red labels are Kraka and Mehmet. Green labels are Tantal and Reagan. Yellow labels are Kirio and Silkus. Is that enough for you? If y'all don't remember, those were the greens from Final Fantasy VII that you used to feed the chocobos that you raised. Bit of an Easter egg there. You want to go through the back alley? Might be a little difficult right now. He's being pretty stubborn. This guy throws a fit when you try to move him from that spot. That drunk thinks th that bitter ones are good and sweet ones are bad. All Our drinks are all good quality. He should try them all, really. Hey, I got your card. Talk to him. We need to get through. Jeez, and now I'm getting dissed by some punk. Owner, give me another drink. Ah, sure. I have five thousand dollars. Oh, you, no wait, no. Tell him about the card. Is this your card? Huh? It is. Why do you have it? Found it outside. Are you serious? Okay. Thanks. You know what? I'm feeling generous, so you can keep that card. And also, this one. I'll move out of the way now. Ton- Ooh, a Tonberry card. Hey, owner. I can't stand up. Can you help me? Yeah, just shift him out of the way. Well, I mean, I can go through. I want to see what, the, what was on the second floor of that house, at least. And get some experience in the process. Never hurts to level up. Well, actually, in this game, leveling up is, you know, part of the strategy, too. You can play this game low level if you want to. I'm not that skilled. That and I haven't played this game in years. I'm sure there's trophies that are missable on this game that I'm probably gonna miss. not even our kitty, but it's always sleeping on our bed. Can you believe him? He eats up a lot of our food, too. That's why we're charging a look-see fee. We can't help it. It's the kitty's fault. Want to take a look-see? Go to that uh, window there. There's a kitty there, too. That's ten dollars, please. Sure. Hey, you at it again? How many times have I told you not to take money from people? Oh, <laughs> you're gonna spank them. Oh, uh, I, I reduced the price from a thousand dollars, though. 
It's not about the money. I didn't raise you this way. Man, you don't have to pay me. I mean, I can play you in cards. Do you play cards? I know, I'm trying to get away from you. What about you, kid? Do you play cards? Wait, you're laying down now. Hey, nice work, everyone. You're all pretty good. I used to get fired up like that when I was younger. I mellowed out after I turned 20, though. Right, Bob? Yes, Jane, you're an adorable lady now. But you were just as attractive when you used to beat me up. <laughs> My, you know some rules that aren't used around here, so why don't we play using Balam's rules and ours? Sure. Let's do this. Ooh, you got some good cards. Shoot. Did I lose all those? Good thing I only played like the common cards. Once I get that card ability, then I could just turn any monster into a card, really. drawing? Actually did some damage. Challenge you to a car. Oh, you just straight up challenged me. Okay. Oh, I don't even get to see your cards. Okay. that whatever you have there will not attack me. Okay, that's a draw. Let's do that again. That's a coral. I'm doing terrible.
Okay, I'm doing terrible in this area. Let's just get some more cards the old-fashioned way. I heal sick. I ain't I don't, doing too much. Wow. Okay. Oh, I thought that was the door. Oh, it's those kids. We, the resistance, carried out the kidnapping of the president, but the president will be dead meat next time. Next time. Do you know about what kidnapping's all about? It's like playing tag. Mommy said you catch him and then you give him a spank. Well, it's kind of like that. Cookies are ready. Coming. Nothing here, just randomly on the ground. Can I play this drunk at cards? I could, but I'm probably gonna end up losing. And then I'll say I lost to a drunk at cards. Once I learn that card ability from Quizzical, then I'm definitely gonna use it to get some cards. I'll have like my throwaway cards, so I don't give up any cards that I, you know, don't wanna lose. Cause I certainly didn't wanna lose that Mesmerize. Hey, an outdoor TV! That is creepy. What is it? This, this noise is broadcast over most of the frequencies. Something has to be done about this before they can broadcast it over the air. Right on. The president's in the studio now. Too many guards now, so we won't be able to storm the place. So we can't just rush it. Yeah, we can. We could kick their asses. We've got to come up with a new plan now. If the president leaves, maybe the guards will be gone too. That's when we do our broadcast. It might not be as influential, but it's better than nothing. We don't stand a chance if we take him head on, right? Don't worry about us. We'll fight your enemies based on your dis we'll fight your enemies based on your decision. That's our duty. Hey, I'm a C2. Just want you to know I'm ready for anything. <coughs> How sad. Act on my decision, that's your duty? Oh, what an easy life it must be just to follow orders. Call it what you want. All we want is for you to achieve your goal using our help. I find it hard to believe that you can do it, though. What did you say? If you have something to say, just say it. How serious are you, really? The three of you plop down on the floor to discuss strategy. On top of that, you can't make a decision without our input, right? How do you think we feel working for such an organization? You're being a little too hard. Well, I'll just leave it at that. You know, maybe this was all a big mistake. I thought everything would work out fine once C came here to help us. But I guess it's not that easy. You were all hired, it's not like you're one of us. Uh, let's see, we'll cancel the plan and we'll disperse for now. We don't stand a chance if we take him head on, right? So you guys probably think this is all a game to us. Well, it's not. We're serious. So serious it hurts. Hey, Zell. Huh? They starting? Here we go. Testing, testing, one, two, testing. Oh, P -p people of the world, can you see me? Can you hear me? Oh, this is incredible, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a recording. This is an actual broadcast over the air. Yes, it's been 17 years since a live broadcast has been possible. Oh, please excuse me. I seem to have lost my composure. We would like to present to you today a message from the lifelong president of Galbadia, Vincer Dealing. Ladies and gentlemen, President Dealing.
Greetings, I am Vincer Dealing, lifelong president of Galbadia. Today I stand before you to make the following proposition. We the people of this world have the power to end all wars. See, see, it's a peace proposal to the world. I knew it. Unfortunately, there are some trifling problems standing between Galbadia and other nations, and they must be resolved. I plan to convene with our other nation's leaders immediately to resolve these problems. At this time, allow me to introduce the ambassador who will be my representative for the conference. Man, all this just to introduce an ambassador? The ambassador is the sorceress. The sorceress? Hey, Cypher! What's he doing? Instructor Trip? Stay back. Squaw, what are we gonna do? For the last time, stay back. You're only going to provoke him. Nothing. Our job is to assist the owls. It's none of our business. Timber Team, are you watching? Get over here right now. You have permission. I need your help. Squall? Squad leader? First of all, Zell, we're gonna need to switch. There we go. Cool. Now that we have Zell with us. We need to restrain him. What do you think you're doing? It's obvious, ain't it? What are you planning to do with this guy? Planning to do? That's right. He knows Rhinoa. Is that why he's here? I get it. You're Rhinoa's... Shut your damn mouth, chicken wuss. He broke out of the disciplinary room, injuring many in the process. You stupid idiot. Zell, please. Be quiet. Instructor, I know. You're gonna take the stupid idiot back to garden, right? Shut up! No! I see, so you're all from garden. Should anything happen to me, the entire Galbadian military will undoubtedly crush Garden. You can you can let go of me now. Nice going. You and your stupid big mouth. Damon Cell, take care of this mess, in instructor and Mr. Leader. Damon Zell. You had to go open your big fat mouth. Nothing here. Poor, poor boy. Stay away from me. Such a confused little boy. Are you going to step forward? Retreat? You have to decide. Stay back. The boy in you is telling you to come. The adult in you is telling you to back off. You can't make up your mind. You don't know the right answer. You want to help, don't you? You want to be saved from this predicament? Shut up! Don't be ashamed to ask for help. Besides, you're only a little boy. I'm not. Stop calling me a boy. You don't want to be a boy anymore? I am not a boy! Come with me to a place of no return. Bid farewell to your childhood. Bye bye And that is the sorceress.
Hey guys! Where's Cypher? We don't know. He'll be okay, right? I'll keep an eye out for you. Go on, you should get back to town. They found our base is completely destroyed. And everyone else? They're fine. They're good at escaping. We have to stay away from Timber for a while. It's, is there a safe place you can take me? This is an order. An order for your client, remember? Alright. Nothing to pick up? Alright. Ooh, a drop point. Scan, uh, we'll give it to Zell. Oh, you got it. Yeah, you feel sick. That's right. Ronoa, I heard your base is in serious trouble. Come over to my place until things settle down. I appreciate it, thank you. What are you waiting for, Squall? Come on. <coughs> this way. I'll let you know if anything changes. Till then, make yourself at home. Thanks, Chief. Chief? She's the leader of the Forest Foxes. Almost everyone's a resistance member in this town. But right now, we're the only ones that are really active. Let's stay here for a while. I still don't get it. Why, what did Cypher come here for? I think he came to help us, the Forest Owls. I talked about it a lot with him. So please, don't think too badly of him. Anybody in here? What is this? I have two small children in here. Don't do anything to frighten them. Upstairs, hurry. Will she be okay? She'll be fine. The legend goes that my mother took down many soldiers with her strength, cooking, and beauty. That beauty part sure makes it sound like a legend. Aw, <laughs> oh, that's terrible. He was so angry when he found out it was only the three of you dispatched to Timber. What? They might end up fighting the whole Galbadian force. And all they dispatch are three rookie seed members? Damn it, I'm going to Timber. I never would have guessed he was serious about it. That guy's always serious, you should know that by now. So tired. Wonder if he's alright. What's going to happen to Cypher? He may already be dead. How can you be so casual? I feel sorry for him. I feel sorry? Cypher would hate to hear that. What's so funny? You're terrible. So, why do you think Cypher may already be dead? Because... 
the president of Galvadia and the sorceress joined forces. Cypher attacked the president. It's no surprise that Cypher may have been killed because of it. Even so, I still hope he's alive. Think what you want. Reality isn't so kind. Everything doesn't work out the way you want it to. That's why. As long as you don't get your hopes up, you can take it. You can take anything. You feel less pain. Anyway, whatever wish you have is none of my business. You're mean. Meanie. What's with her? Sorry. The Galbadian forces are withdrawing. Only the soldiers normally stationed here will stick around. If you're gonna leave town, now's your chance. You know how persistent those soldiers can be. Yeah, you play cards? No? Okay. I want to go home. Zell's just silent. Oh, because of what he did. Seems like everyone's tired. So, what's your plan? Oh, we gotta get out of here. Squaw, any thoughts on where to go? We have to get out of here first. Getting out of here is only the first step. What do you mean? Garden Code, Article 8, Line 7. 8, 7. In the event that returning to the assigned garden is not possible, report to the nearest garden. Head to the nearest garden. Very good. From here, that would be Galbadia Garden. We can take the train from here and get off at a station called East Academy. From there, we have to go through the forest west of the station and to get to Galbadia Garden. I've been there several times. We should be okay. Okay, then. We'll escape from Timber and head to Galbadia Garden. The party will be... Uh, these two are the lowest levels, so I'm going to keep them around. Let's go. You be careful now. Take this with you. Wow, bunch of stuff, thank you. So we gotta take the road on the right. Fight you? It's me, sir. It's me. Got some info. Sir, Timber Station will be shut down temporarily. Mega bummer. Not necessarily. It's not completely shut down yet. The last train out of here is bound for East Academy. We're getting on that train. You're going too, right, Renoa? Yeah, what about you, Watts? No need to worry about me. I'll go gather more info. I promise I'll be back. You take care, okay? You be careful, too. What about you? Will you be safe here? I'll be fine, sir. I'll put up the fight of my life. I'm happy, sir. Rhinoa, Squall, it's me, the Mystery Man! It's Mystery Man, guys! Zone? Oh, the one with the stomach ache. You need to go to East Academy, right? There's no more tickets left. Super duper mega bummer. <laughs> we'll do whatever it takes to get on that train. You won't have to do that. Looky here, I have everyone's ticket right here. One for you. Three for you seat people. Here, I'll give them to the leader. And the last one is for me. Go on, take it. I can't take that, it's yours. 
Ouch. Oh, your stomach ache again. Ah, just get going. The train's leaving. Thank you. Zone. We're gonna see each other again, okay? No matter what, you have to survive. We have to liberate Timber together, remember? I know, I know. I'll go hide in the bathroom or something. Now get going. Down for Dolette stopping at East Academy. This is the last stream for today. Please hurry on board. Get on. Let me double check. Get off at East Academy and then go through the forest west of the station. Galbadia Garden is located up ahead, is that correct? <sighs> Indeed. Glad we have a leader with a good memory. Finally leaving Timber. This train, bound for East Academy, will depart shortly. Squall just stood there and took it. Oh, Ben! Make it. Please! Open up! Better let her have her way. Confirming. Access granted. <laughs> Thanks. We should get there shortly, so we'll be all right out here. Oh, man. Weren't you just saying something? It's not important, but... Let me stand by the door. Well, we made it. I have to thank Zone for that. He's into naughty magazines. But that that's... I'll keep that in mind. Oh, I should have given that to Zone then. I mean, that's totally, that's totally random tidbit you'd give about somebody. What's the matter? I love trains. Train, train, take us away, take us away, far away. To the future we will go. Where it leads, no one knows. I guess I go over here. Or not. I can't go in there. So you can't go through either door. Do we just wait it out? Oh, okay. Yes, we got off at East Academy Station. Go west through the forest. 
which I really only see one forest, because that's south. So I guess we go through there. <coughs> We're not too far from Galbadia Garden now. Hey, I was just thinking. There might be some bad news from the Galbadian government. What if we get caught and then get broadcast to the whole world? Whatever happens, happens. Now come on, let's just keep going. I'm worried about Balam Garden. If anything happens to Garden, it's all my fault. I'm the one who said we were all from Garden. You think the president will retaliate on Garden? Maybe. Figures. But, but we have a whole bunch of seeds at Balam Garden. They wouldn't lose to the Galbadian army, would they? Depends how strong the army is. I know, but... Oh, you're just a great leader, aren't you? Do you actually have fun acting so callous towards your comrades? Not again. Zell wants your support. I knew it was going to be something like that. Any kind of encouragement will make... That's just to ease your mind. Am I the only one who thinks that? No, I'm sure Cypher. Don't you ever worry about or even think about the well-being of your comrades? I don't believe in relying on others. Don't you understand? Whatever. Are you listening, Squall? Up. Oh, are we going back to our dream world again? What's going on? I think they went to the dream world. Oh shoot, um... Kiros, you sure this is the place? I hope we're all junctioned properly, because I think I had Zell and Selfie with me. Positive. I don't want to be patrolling the wrong place like last time. Ah, sorry, this ain't the place. This is it. Let's go, Commander. I brought the wrong map. Oh, Laguna. Somehow I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, a bad feeling. Seriously, I have a bad feeling. There's something fishy going on here. You know what the old folks say, that the unfamiliar always happens? The unexpected? Or something like that? Yeah, you mean unexpected, right? You only got the un part right. Ah, shut up. Stop your clamoring and make sure all your gear is equipped. Now let's move out. I like that you remind me of that. Yeah, see, that he's not junctioned. Um... How do I do that, then? Oh, okay, well... But you don't have magic. You straight up just don't have magic. Alright then. We're gonna have to figure that out. Well, let's go back. Is there a, something back here? Nope. Nothing hidden? Alright. Seriously, this place sure is strange. What the heck is this big pile of rocks? You think these are natural rocks used for carving tombstones? Who knows? Who cares? Speaking of strange, why have you been running around so strange? Strange? What do you mean strange? Just being cautious. That's the basic rule of the... Hey! Looks like we got Company Esther soldiers. 
Still wearing those flashy uniforms. Don't be such a weenie. What the? Oh, we're back attacked by one. There were supposed to be three. Now you have no magic, so I need to like draw some with you. our mission just a patrol? Why does it have to turn out like this? Seriously, I wasn't expecting this at all. <laughs> oh, now we back attack them somehow. There's no end to this. Better make a run for it. Hold on, let's junction now since we got some magic for this guy. Really not a lot to play with, but it's a little something. Oh yeah, you're the one I got rid of all the magics to. Or gave away magics from, I should say. We got a lot of cures, so let's use them.
Those look like pathways you can take. Pathway, come on, man. The reason why I keep checking the draw is um, every time you level up, there's always a chance that an enemy will level up with you. And if they level up, usually the magic that you can get levels up too. So there's always a chance I can get like Fyra, Thundara, and Blizzara from them. And once that starts happening, I'm going to start removing those uh, tier 1 magics to make way for the tier 2 magics. Because they're better for junctioning and they're just better magics in general. Yeah, you can go up this way. Let's check up here. And as you level up, then you start getting better magic spells. This looks like you can move it because the graphics texture and all that. This place is a complete maze. I have no idea where I am. That's what exploration is for. You know, I could probably use the magical lamp and fight the these guys with it. I didn't even think about that. Wonder if it works. Oh wait, is this it already? Oh, there's a save point right here. Probably go a little bit longer. At least just to see where the heck I am and where I'm supposed to go. I might be going the right way. Not from this fleet. close to learning card. You, vitality still weighs away. Move fine. Alright, so it looks like I'm gonna learn move fine and card at the same time. Whoa, what is that thing? Dispel. Alright. He just balls you in the face.
thought it would have done more damage. detonator, you know? Oh, I get it. The short blue fuse is for that boulder, and the long red fuse is for the boulder further down? Hey, man, are you crazy? You don't even know how powerful that thing will be. Ah, I bet it's not all that. The detonator's right here, so as long as we stay behind it, we'll be alright. Well, I guess so. Let's see. Hold on, let's, um, check what's over here before we blow up some boulders. Oh, that's good again. Ooh, good hit. wonder what this bell would be good to junction. Closer? Nope. I guess you are weak against Link against Thunder. You're just resisting to magic. another guy. You know, since now I know I'm supposed to be here, let's go explore that other little uh, place right quick. At least I think that was something I could explore. Like over here? Can I go this way? What's over here? Ooh, someone just joined the server to, to 
Discord server, I'll have to... Fight them in my turn. Oh, see, this guy doesn't even have here, which means he's a lower level soldier. I think. Or no, maybe he's higher level, he just got rid of here, being a drawable magic. Oh, he has Bizarra. Okay, so like, this is a higher level enemy. But I can't draw the higher level magic just yet. Let me go, uh, invite this person to my server real right quick. There we go. Booyah. Progress. Let's go blow up those boulders real quick. I just don't want to miss anything. Especially in places like this where you, it's like a maze. And like, things are missable. First strike. the boulder, guys. Oh, we got out of there fast. Oh. <laughs> oh, now we're blocked in. That was awfully quiet. I was expecting a blast of some sort. See, I told you. I told you it wasn't all that powerful. But now we gotta blow up the further one. Aw, oh, man. I guess I should have done the furthest boulder first. Hmm. Well, now we gotta go the long way around. That's weird.
Hey, Eckert, how are you doing today? I'll start flailing your arms around. That's good to hear. I'm doing pretty well, too. Just getting through some Final Fantasy VIII. How's Final Fantasy so far? Oh, it's going great. As fun as I remember it being years ago. God, I think it was... I guess it was since I was in college when I last played this. Ooh, I got card. Okay, I got the card ability. Now you can refine items from cards. This is very important. And I also learned something else. Uh, I think it was blue find. Yes, okay. So now we're gonna switch to that. So now we're gonna go to Junction. Who was it that has time? Why is it not showing the game I'm playing? I remember checking it and actually fixing it. I actually spent some time at the start of the stream fixing this. And it even showed up. Like, that's weird. Alright, should say it now. I don't understand why it does that. Ooh, Dispel would be... Well, how much is Suna do I have? 29? Dude, Dispel might be a better uh, vitality. Junction. Hmm. Yeah, it, it was supposed to be showing earlier, but I don't know what happened. I even made sure it showed it. I, I guess after a while it just disappears. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go back to Lagoon. Equip that. Who do I have, uh, Quizzical Junction to? Kiros. So Kiros will have the card ability. It turns monsters into cards, so we're gonna get rid of GF and have card instead. So now, if I fight a monster, I don't, I don't know if that enemy that, that I'm fighting counts. I can turn him into a card. This guy. Let's see if I can card this guy. Oh, okay. Well, not him. Maybe the other guy I can turn into a card. There's a boulder right there. This is a Gasper. We can turn this guy into a card. <laughs> okay then. Ooh, I kinda want these got these uh, magic first.
did better than that. I think I might have to hurt him a bit. I don't know how much help this guy does. Particularly a great card, but it, it worked. So I'm gonna have to go and get all these guys back. Push that out of the way. And there's an enemy there. <laughs> Whatever, man. Thanks to me, those Esther soldiers and that rock are history. It's like killing two pigs with one stone. Okay then. I am just so awesome. Genius, I tell you. <coughs> pigs? Don't you mean birds? Here, we're gonna give that to Ward. gonna do it for me. Um, had a lot of fun. We made it to this part of the game. We were in Sintra and that place is kind of a maze. So when we come back for part four we will have to find our way out of that maze. Got some magics, finally got the ability to card some enemies and it's gonna be a lot more fun now that I can do that. And once I learned card mod then I can turn those cards into some really really good items and stuff. So um, let us see who is online. Uh, we have... And we have Just Lee Belmont, who is playing some Super Mario 64. A little obscure game. It's this uh, platformer that came out on the Nintendo 64 back in 1996, I want to believe. Um, it's a really good game, but more importantly, we're going to go raid him, and you should give him a follow if you have not done so yet. So, anyways, that'll do it for me. Uh, next stream will probably be some more God of War. I also haven't streamed uh, Stardew Valley in a while, but it will be uh, sometime this week, for sure. I will let y'all know in the Discord. So, Alright, take care everybody, and have yourselves a good one. Bye-bye.